Hello LEGO fans, Bricks Unbound here with another update to building Hogwarts. I've accomplished a fair bit more in the Great Hall now, so we're going to zoom out. We'll take a look at what's been done. So in the last video, I didn't even have really anything for the back half of it. Uh, but now the staff table is in place. I've built up the wall at the back of the building as well as that giant bay window that uh, sits in the back of the hall and got all my wings in for my gargoyles the statues around the walls so they're looking much better you will notice on this side over here there's two of them missing and that's because uh, that's the section that the fireplace is going to go in behind Cedric there um, so that way I can, I can remember that's what the plan is for that so I wanted to take those down uh, because there's not going to be gargoyles in that section. It's just going to be for the large fireplace that sits in the Great Hall. And I've thrown in just a few more figures here. Made a few uh, custom students. Looks like that one was trying to heat up the tea a little bit and uh, might have made it a little too hot. But tables are in place. Obviously I still need a bunch of tiles. I have placed orders through bricks and pieces and pick a brick um, at the Lego online shop. Those usually take three to four weeks to get to me so uh, it's still a couple more weeks until those parts will arrive so it is just gonna kinda look empty up there until then but I'm happy with how this is going so far I think I'm going to do a little bit of adjusting with where these different supports for the ceiling are. They'll probably get moved up a little bit higher. Uh, also, I need to figure out exactly how I want to do the floating candles in here. So, plenty more work to be done, obviously, and of course the entire roof is missing. I think I have figured out how I'm going to do it, though. Um, and unfortunately, it is going to end up with a line of tiles uh, down the side of it. You can see here, it's so basically the roof will sit on top of these flat tiles uh, but I think since I put it fairly low on the profile of the roof um, you only really see it in between these uh, I don't know what you want to call those those spires there is the only place you'll see that and I'm hoping it'll get covered up enough with the uh, with all these spires around it that you won't it won't be too obnoxious. I do think I might do a little bit of adjusting for how far in the roof goes. I think I might move it in a stud or two because on the the model that's like at the London making of Harry Potter studio tour, I can't remember the exact name of it, I've never been there, that would be a fantastic place to go. Um, but if you look at that model, or of course the one seen in the films, but a lot of my pictures are, a lot of my reference pictures are of the actual model itself that I found online. Uh, there's actually... The roof doesn't come out over the edge like this, or it doesn't even come up lined up to it. It's back a little bit and it's got little... I'm sorry, I am not up in my castle lingo, but the uh, parapet type things that stick up in front of the roof when it comes down. So if I can get it to work and get the spacing to work out all right, I'll do that. But I'm very happy with how this is coming along. I got the uh, basically the hourglasses to keep track of house points up on the wall behind Hagrid there. Uh, some trophies on display back behind the staff table. And I'm going to also be tiling up all that area underneath the staff table. I just, again, am waiting for my orders to come in. So another couple weeks at least for that. I think this curve here I'm going to bring down. Oops, I'm knocking pieces off going to bring down a couple bricks in height so you can just see it a little bit better. It's not covered up by the roof as much. And there is a little tower at the back of the Great Hall that comes up. There's also one that'll be over the middle and then one at this far end that'll be over top the uh, entrance hall, which is sitting over there. It's exactly like it was before, except I did put the gargoyles on it. Let's do a quick spin of this so we can see what that bay window and everything looks like from the back as well as get some side views of this monster. It is <laughs> pretty, 
pretty long as you can see there and when I added this back wall and now it's super sturdy so I can really push on it and swing it around without without worrying too much about it so here's the view from the side again if you look at any official these here are just to support it right now they're not going to be staying there uh, if you look at any official pictures there's a set of windows uh, up higher in the building kinda like this and there's also a set right underneath I mentioned in my last video I think those windows will look down into the kitchen um, so I've been building up my house elf army uh, to to work in the kitchen but uh, yeah, so it's not just gonna, it's gonna be probably almost twice this height here total. So it'll be this and then have a set of windows underneath that are either gonna be two, maybe three of these windows high. And hopefully in the next video I'll have a little bit of that to show. Alright, now we've finally spun it around to the back. And there we are, those bay windows. Again, this had the little. I don't remember what they're called, but the, uh, like, crenellations? Maybe that's the word I'm looking for. I don't know. Uh, but it stick up across the, uh, the front of the roof where it comes down. I use these for now. Um, not 100% happy with them, but in order for the spacing to work for these slopes and to not have to try to incorporate them into the actual wall, uh, that was about the best I could do without making this part stick out even further. And it could maybe handle it if it was one stud further out, but then the interior details will look a little funky because this will look like it's going on back forever. So I think it's going to stay as is, but of course, subject to change. You never know. I might completely change my mind. And there's that tower sticking out the top. I need to get some of the angled parts that have like a window on the side of them. I know they exist. I think they're in some older castle sets. Uh, pretty sure they even exist in tan, so I need to acquire some of those and I'll probably replace these parts with that. This was just kind of to get the spacing and get it so I could work the roof up around it. Obviously this section of the roof is held in place here. It's what keeps all of this sturdy so I don't knock it over. But the rest of it is going to be removable, I decided. Just so I can get better access down into the hall. Let's see if I can attach the entrance hall onto the front of it here, just so we can get a look down the hall from the other direction. Oops, I knocked off that gargoyle's head. Okay, come on. Wings are in the way. This is very difficult to do one-handed. <laughs> Man, I'm just knocking everything off. Alright, so now that I have completely destroyed those gargoyles and have knocked many pieces off of here, there's the uh, doors that lead into the entrance hall down there. I talked a little bit about that in my last video. So the other thing I need to figure out, and part of the reason I'm going to probably raise up these supports, is the house flags. Uh, they need a way to hang in here, and if I put them, put them on that at the height it's at right now it covers up the gargoyle behind it and really blocks a lot of the view of the hall you can see I'll put another one up here it really makes it hard to see what's going on it looks okay from lower angles I suppose but I think I will raise those up a brick or two maybe just to see what it looks like I'll just try it with one to start with see if See if I still like the look of it at that point. But that does it for this video. I'll get this out of the way, spin it back around so we can all take one last look down the Hogwarts Great Hall. Let me attach some of these uh, turrets I knocked off. Okay. And there it is. So very happy with the progress so far. Man, I am knocking everything over. Let me know what you think about it down in the comments. And make sure you come back for more videos. Thank you for watching.